All right, this is question 13 on unit 1. This question um, we did in class, and we did even on the um, uh, little game, not fair. The perimeter of two regular shapes are equal. So otherwise, they're trying to tell you that uh, these two shapes are equal. All right, and so find the variable length and perimeter of each shape. All right, so the first thing we want to kind of do is we want to be careful here is that they're telling you that the two shapes are equal. We also need to know that that means regular means that they all have the same shape. They're the same length. So when it says regular shapes, that means they're ex all their sides and angles are the same. So this shape here has five sides. So we're going to say 5 times x plus 3. Because that means this is x plus 3, this is x plus 3, this is x plus 3, this, they're all x plus 3. This one is a square, and we are told it was equal, so it's 4 times 2x. Alright, so we're going to do the distributive property. So 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 3 is 15 4 times 2 is 8x. Alright? Now, you got to be careful here, because some people want to take this guy here and move it over there, and if you did, look what you end up with. Which is really basically two numbers on one side and one number on the other side, just like you had above it. So you really didn't do anything. All you do is just move something over. So it's probably not wise to move the number over uh, it would be wise since they both have both sides have an x. You want to move an x, and so since this is a plus, and the other x is all by itself, the 8x by itself, we'll move the 5x to the 8x side, so that way we can put the x's together. So this is 15 equals, and it's going to be 3x. Divide both sides by 3. You can see that x equals 5. So we know x equals 5. All right, so what's that mean for each one? Well, the square, if it's 2x and x equals 5, that's like saying 2 times 5 is 10. So this here would be 10. And that would be 10. And that would be 10. And that would be 10. So that perimeter would be 40. All right, on the, and I'm going to do a different color, on the pentagon, all right, we know it's x plus 3. All right, and if that's 5, that makes each side 8. And if that's 8, that's 8, that's 8, that's 8, and that's 8. So 5 times 8 would equal 40. <coughs> so you can see that at when x is 5, both perimeters are exactly the same. Now be careful because on a test it could... Notice in the wording here on number 13, if you look at the wording, it says the perimeter of two regular shapes are equal. So it's telling you that these two guys are equal. All right. When we did the review in the um, not fair game, they were the two shapes had a total. They wanted to find the total perimeter. And total perimeter means I would add them all up, all the x's up, and add all the numbers up, and that's it. But this one says they are equal. 